I've been trying to do this video for a long time. Finally got the chance in my life, you know, sit down and do this video. I just wanted to go over the art supplies that I currently have. Um, I feel like as beginner artists or artists, maybe you've been drawing your whole life, but you just started taking yourself. I feel like we look at all the videos on YouTube and try to buy expensive things. I just want to let you know that you don't, you don't have to do all of that. Like there are other supplies that you can use. You don't have to, you don't have to spend a whole bag just to, just to have fun, like have fun with it in the beginning. Just have fun. Um, I just want to go over what supplies I currently have. Um, again, I am, I've been drawing my whole life, but I feel like I'm a beginner because this year I finally decided to take it seriously. So these are supplies that I bought for myself or other people have bought me as gifts. And I just wanted to show you guys, people like asking what do I use and things like that. So let's start, let's see. So these are, I believe these are gifts. Yeah, these are gifts. So this is a sketch pad. It's not open yet. I haven't used it yet. My twin sister bought this for me. Um, this is a high quality white cartridge, spiral bound and perforated um, sketch pad. I don't know why I said spiral bound because I don't see no spirals. I would advise that you get a spiral because my first sketchbook I bought for myself, I think I bought it from Walmart. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Let me get back on topic. But yeah, I like this one. Um, Let's see. It doesn't say exactly what can be used on here, but I would guess that this is for pencil drawings because most sketchbooks, they do start off as a basic uh, pencil drawing. You do want to be careful with that because um, if you don't mind bleeding through your papers, that's fine. You can always use another sheet of paper to put under. I do that sometimes if I have like the wrong sketchbook on here and the wrong tools. But if you're the type of person, you're trying out markers as well. I like this sketch pad. Uh, if I can figure out where I got this from, I'll let you know. But you can probably follow it at Walmart, Michaels, things like that. But I think this one was given to me. I can't remember. I can't remember. But I like this one. This is for, this is medium weight white paper, 50 sheets. Oh, I'm messing up. This one is for color pencils. Duh. But I like this book. Here I practice, it looks weird, but I practice like different skin tones and layering color pencils because I really, I really love doing that. It hurts my, like color pencils hurt my hand, but it's fun. And sorry y'all, if, if I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. I'm just not one of the people that can concentrate. I lose focus very fast. So if I'm all over the place in this video, please bear with me. I'm learning how to, you know, but yeah. And then also it's a gift my, tw my sister, twin sister gave me. These are, um. I'm going to cut that out. This is also a gift that my twin sister gave me with my, uh, I think it was for our birthday this year. Yeah. This year. But these are like mini canvases. Y'all, I love this. Like, they're small mini canvases. It's like four in a pack. This would be cool. Like, you want to uh, do a painting, but you don't want to go big yet. Um also like if you if you have a significant other you know date nights paint nights or you just want to do it with your friends paint yourself by yourself you know that's always a good one and then along with the with this sketchbook matter of fact i think it's what get from my boyfriend's mother yeah it's coming together now along with this sketchbook these color pencils are what i use the prismacolor premiere these this is not sponsored as y'all can see i'm a beginner youtuber so this is definitely not sponsored but i really love these like shoot you can, you can see like some of them are already running out i'm gonna be sad when they run out because they're not cheap i don't know y'all budget but they're not cheap for me so but i i would definitely buy these again because i really like them and with color pistols like you want you want good pigmented color pistols and i like these these are good this layer is fine <clears throat> This one running out. What is that? Black, of course, could use black for sketching and things like that. And I like drawing natural hair, so I might pull out that black real fast. So yeah. Prisma color. Good brand. And then let's see. Other things you could draw. And I have plenty of canvases, different sizes in my closet. Um, because I feel like with canvases, you never know what you want to draw. So 
well for me i'm all over the place when it comes to thinking of ideas so i like having different sizes like just because so like every like i'll rent we'll rent me and my boyfriend will like randomly go to the craft store i'll be like can we go to the bank blah, blah, blah. and <clears throat> yeah i think it's always good to have canvases on hand because you never know when the idea pops up like let me see let me see if we can uh For example this painting this was a very random painting i was just doing one day but like i said like you just sitting at home and you just want to you just want to paint you just want to practice just have you some canvases laying around and michael's always has sales if you know you know they always have sales on canvases i would not buy them full price because you can always find a coupon or they or sometimes the cashier at the register has a coupon for you or you can sign up for their emails they always keep you alert so yeah, this was a weird one because I messed up on the painting, so I covered it, colored it all, or painted it all black, and then I wanted to do a painting on top of it. As you can see, sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. Like, it looks weird, but I just love it. I like trying things that are unusual. I haven't finished it yet, but yeah. And then <clears throat> I can't find my sketchbook for my mark. Damn, all over the place. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those videos, but whatever. This is my very first sketchbook I bought for myself when I noticed that I was getting back into art because I used to draw all the time when I was little. I got this from Walmart. Uh, it served its purpose, you know. Well, it is serving its purpose because I still use it. Check out my sketchbook video, sketchbook tour video. Um, you can check that on my page, or I'll probably link it up here somewhere, but or here, whatever. But y'all. I, this is why I would advise you to get a spiral bound. I know some people like the continuous pages or whatever, but yeah, these. I plan on getting some washi tape or something. I don't know, but I plan on making this cuter, more secure. And I just told this up. I was taking it to work and stuff, you know, the days I was bored, you know. And I was just reckless with it. I, it was just, yeah. This is falling apart. Oh, I just keep random notes in the front. But look at this. Yeah, we have to get that together. But it's, like I said, it's serving its purpose. You just, just have fun. In the beginning, when you're getting back to your art or you're just starting, just have fun with it. Don't, don't go spend the arm and leg for your supplies. Test out what you like first. Because when I first started, I was buying color pencils, markers uh paint random paint like you don't have to buy the expensive paint if you just start up like just practice you know what i'm saying if you want to go to dollar tree and get you some supplies do that like don't don't hurt yourself don't hurt your pockets don't hurt yourself um what else oh this was a gift as well i don't know i think she got this off amazon if i could find a link for it i will because i feel like if you're shoot if you're an adult you can just have fun with this Again, if you're a beginner, um, shoot, if you have kids who, who have, you see they have interests in um, art projects, I, please feed that, okay? Please feed that early. But this will be a good kit for them. Let me see. Um, this is up. I'm going to start from bottom to top. I'm just weird like that. But uh, on the bottom here, we have oil pastels right here. And these are more color pencils. I haven't used oil pastels yet. I'm not. I don't think I used oil pastels since freaking elementary school. Ouch. Sorry for the noise. I need to get a mic. Um. Oh, more acrylic paint. These are. I, I love small tubes. Matter of fact, I have some in the pouch of uh, small tubes. That is great as well. If you're just practicing, buy you some small paint tubes. Because you don't know what kind of paint you like yet. Like, just have, like I said, I'm going to say 10,000, 10, 100,000 10, times. Just have fun, okay? And then I think, oh, my God. I do not pay attention at all. I don't think I pulled this all the way out when I got it. Watercolor. Thank you, sis. I didn't know they had watercolor. Y'all, yeah, you know how long I had this right now. I just, I didn't know I had watercolor. But, yeah, watercolor paint. I do want to practice more of that. And I like how it came with this little 
paint, the paint tray for the watercolor. Oh my God. Sorry, y'all just sitting in my closet. I work on other projects, so I haven't really used this. I think I used like one pencil out of here. But yeah. I got the little kit right here. Okay, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Okay, maybe I should have talked about them. And then at the top, you latch these and it comes out like this. More paint brushes, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. And pencils, different grades of pencils, that's what I like because I'm, it's been a long time since I had an art class, like YouTube is my art class right now, so I'm I'm still learning about the uh, the different grades of pencils. I If y'all know of a good practice that I can do to learn, let me know, you know what I'm saying, tell me how you learn. It had a sharpener in here. I was carrying this around in my bag for work because I was always, well, not always. When I got really, really bored at work, I was drawing in my free time. And then they had this putty eraser. I love those things. I need more of that. I gotta find where I put that at, but yeah. But I love this. And, and I think it's so cute. Like, I feel like later on, um, down the line during my art line, I'll probably, when I get, when I feel like I'm more comfortable with doing big like you know services like this i'm probably gonna end up painting it because it's nice it's really nice or i probably buy some paint pens or something i just love this i probably end up i don't know what i got here but i probably end up uh making this cute cuter you know what i'm saying i like it like this though i don't know i don't know has a handle right here i wouldn't carry it like that because of the things but i like the handle that's cute and let's see what else I got. <clears throat> okay, just looking a little ghetto right now. The, these are, if you ever go to Michael's, you know the brand that they always have. I think it's what's called Artist Loft. Duh. Yeah, it's right on the papers. But it's Artist Loft. These are, I feel like these are beginner brushes because they do kind of, the paint bristles did kind of uh, come off of some of my paintings, but I wasn't able to catch it in time and just take it off. But this is like you're a beginner grab some of these right from michael's you know what i'm saying just have fun so y'all gonna say that a thousand times but this is cute and then it comes with a little case you just roll it up tie it up boom and then <clears throat> oh another surface besides canvases and sketchbooks i like going to michael's and getting these poster boards um because let's see what i did it's large but i folded it because i'm going to cut end up cutting these i like cutting them into small squares or different shapes because you can have fun and just uh sketch you can, you can just practice sketching painting your markers like just get the all-purpose board it will tell you on the board this one is for okay i lied it won't tell you on the board but when you go to michael's the price tag or whatever the you know the label it'll tell you what board it is used for and i like the ones that have multi-purposes because i just cut it up and use it as random random things um what is this liquid sex this is a matte medium i honestly have not used this yet this is i got this from I forgot what artist i was watching i watch all kind of artists where well, they got a, a million followers or 10 like I watch everybody, but there was this matte medium. I'm not sure what I was gonna use this for. I gotta figure out, but I have it for when I remember. And okay, and then on to paints. Again, when I was talking about the mini, the mini, oh my sharpener, the mini um paint things. Oh, and I have this. If you're a sketcher, then you know what this is. The blending stuff. I know they say you can make your own. You can use Q-tip too. I like that. Sometimes I just use my hand because I just like how um, how rough it looks. But I like this too. Now you gotta find the right paper to use when you're sketching. Because if not, this will rub a hole in your sketch and mess up your whole vibe. So, yeah. And I like these. I think I got this idea 
or I got this link from another artist I watch. But if you have your sketching or your pacing or you're doing markers just to add good highlights, use white pens. And I might not do the links for these. I don't know because I have to. If you want me to put the links, just let me know. They probably will be in the description box because I like that's how I. Um, that's what I like when I watch videos. Like, let me know where you got it from. So I ain't got you all over the place. Oh, I guess I don't have my little tubes in here, but I do have a, a big bag of small paint tubes that I was telling y'all about. Also, these. As you see, I don't buy. I do have a lot of paint. That's because when I get idea to do something, I need to. I might do it right then, but I need to make sure I have the supplies on hand because I'm just so random like that. That I need to know these stuff, these things are in stock. But again, starting off, I bought these Artist Loft White from Michaels. The pigments of what's it called in all the opacity, whatever I'm not using the wrong word. They not it's not all that. You know what I'm saying? I I think I use this as a background on the paste, and it had like two, three layers. Just to get it how I want to get it. These are not all of that, but again, in the beginning, just use what you got, okay? Don't try to use this old big, giant paintings if unless you know how to mix your mediums and mix things to make it look better, but the, these are for when you're just practicing, you're just beginning on your small canvases, on your small sketch pads, you know what I'm saying? And these are like a step up to me. Um, liquid text basic acrylics again i'm not an expert on paint so if y'all think these ain't all of that that's your business but i like them so far and then and because i'm trying to do better with color like learning color theory because i don't know when you're a kid you know you learn all these things in school when you get older it's like some of the stuff escape your brain so I went ahead and challenged myself and just bought these colors. Uh, did I get black? I can't remember. I think I got. I think I do have black. But I just want to test myself, you know, challenge myself, learning how to mix colors and things like that. Because I feel like if you know how to do, if you know how to work with your primary colors, you shouldn't have to spend an arm or a leg on stocking up on paint unless there's okay, like. Sorry, that. y'all got a call from my boyfriend, and I was like, let me go ahead and get a lunch break while we on the phone. But I'm back. And I think that's all. Honestly. Oh, I have this old bag. My mom gave me like in high school. It used to have a strap. I don't know where it's at. But I use it to carry my supplies. Or just to store my supplies. Because I don't like them all. I have a small apartment right now. So I'm working on uh, storage. I'll probably wait till I get my next apartment. A big apartment to like have my own. You know. Probably get like a tall file cabinet or just like a one of those plastic organizers you know but right now i keep this in my ottoman because it's a storage ottoman and i keep supplies in here the ones i can fit also back from auto that i bought um i was taking this to the office for a while but now that i'm working from home i think i'm going to turn this into an art bag like i want to go to the beach or something and draw or just you know sit out at a park or something i, I want to be one of those <laughs> I'm trying to be one of them. This is black bag I got from Auto. I really like it. It's a nice little carrying case. It's on the turn it into. And it has pockets, everything. I already have some stuff in here. Oh, I got another sketchbook. This one is specifically used for, it says, suitable for use with pastels, charcoal, pencils, and markers. That's another one. I think this. Dang, all these are gifts. I didn't. Yeah, you don't spend a lot of money. That's another thing. Let your people know what's going on, cause you know if you have support system, they'll look out for you. But yeah, that's another gift for my sister. I think. But yeah, I love markers, y'all. This is some sketches I used to do at work. Did I have this one? Halloween one. In there. Okay. And damn, I hope y'all can hear me. I got my AirPod in. Okay. 
Uh, what else? Oh, something so simple, y'all. I have so many of these because I, I keep stuff for a long, long time. Notebooks, pencils, everything. Like, this still work. If it ain't broke, it's in here. Like, so I have random mechanical pencils, all kind of mechanical pencils. I like sketching with those because it's easier and I get my lines more precise. And I have this marker I got from Michaels. This is kind of thick. I was actually looking for like one of those fine point pens. I probably have to look at more videos online and see which one they recommend. Cause yeah, this one is, you know what I'm saying? This is not what I was, not really what I was looking for, but still use it sometimes. And I have a whole thing of gel pens. I don't feel like pulling that out cause they're the best. But I used to, sometimes you might see them when you draw but i just do these for fun because i don't know they fade sometimes and then my favorite art supply got this from amazon oh hoo -hoo. can you see this you if you look at look this up on youtube you see people um they have videos like comparing these to copy copy copic i'm not sure i pronounce it copic markers and things like that y'all i'm not that picky right now as i as I said, I'm learning. We're learning together, you know what I'm saying? If you can find inexpensive dupes, use them. I like them. I'm in love with them. Markers are more fun to me because with painting, you have to do layers, things like that. Then with color pencils, I like doing layers. Sometimes it hurts my hand, but with these, I can just draw freely. And yeah, I like these. I'll put the link for these sponsor or not like if you like me i know you want to know where these are from but i love these i love them i love them i love them i think what's missing the black one because i carry i used to carry around the black the brown this i think sienna brown and like that dark brown color to work because i usually draw natural hair women natural black you know what i'm trying to say black women with natural hair so it's just they're my favorite thing to draw, so those are my favorite markers to carry around. But I do want to practice with color, so you'll probably see more of those videos. But I'm gonna show you again. I love these. So beautiful, so beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. And I think that's all. <clears throat> I think that's all. I have more supplies than I thought I had. Oh, and get you a nice paint tray. The paint tray I have is looks horrible right now. I didn't wash that off to show you guys, but it's just one of those plastic paint trays from Michaels. I really want a better paint tray. I've seen people use like frames, picture frames. They put like a gray paper under. I heard that gray paper is better because it shows you like a more actual color than white. But that's probably that'll probably be later on down the line. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of paint trays I like. But yeah, that's my video. You know what I'm saying? I hope you like these. I hope you like these suggestions. If you have any suggestions of your own, put it in the comments. Let me know. The other people that are watching this know. You know what I'm saying? This is, I want this to be a community of artists. This is not... like we, I want to engage with you guys. I am kind of on the reserve side sometimes, but I want my YouTube to be more engaging. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what, you, what questions you have, what kind of tutorials you would like. Um, I'm working on that as well because I want to learn how to teach people because I noticed that when I'm drawing art it's hard for me to teach because I just do it or I'm just learning as well but I really want to get into doing tutorials I feel like we need to see more black artists on YouTube we, we have we have a lot I found a lot but uh, being that there are you know what I'm saying black people are not on one spectrum there are a variety of us you know what I'm saying different ideas different um, I'm gonna say black people just come in all kinds of varieties. You know what I'm saying? So I just want I just want us to show our faces more, you know, put ourselves out there more. And yeah. I don't know how to close out this video, but I thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know what's going on with you.